In this code.org lesson, we are using nested loops, which is a repeat block inside of repeat block to create animated snow, snow drawings, snowflakes. It's fun. Let's go. This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Hi, I'm Elsa. Draw a shape between 10, between 20 and 50 pixels wide. It can be any shape you'd like. Oh, neat. Okay. We can definitely do that. Let's go ahead. 20. Yes. Okay, so let me move forward. Sure, I'll leave that at 30 pixels. Mm, maybe I'll turn right. And they said I can do a square, so I might actually do that. Let's see. Awesome. Onward. Now let's draw more. Now take your shape and draw two or three of them in a row by jumping forward some number of pixels. Okay, so two or three of them in a row by jumping forward. Well, if mine's 30 pixels, so let me jump forward uh i wouldn't want to do more than 30 do they give us an example if i do 30 only it will all be connected so let me say uh maybe i do 60 maybe i do 40 anything like that would work now keep in mind this will still only draw one i would have to start doing all of this over again and we know better right so if i start doing move forward yada yada, yada i will start drawing two but instead of doing it that way oh i probably want to turn again here um Instead of doing it this way, let's use our repeat block. So if I want to draw how many? Two or three. So I'll draw three of them and I can move all of this in here and that will automatically do it three times. Boom. And I can even, if you're noticing, I can make this even more efficient by using a loop inside of it. But for this one, we'll call that good. And so this runs all of that code three times. Next, jump back to the center using blah, blah, blah and spin around. First, I want to make this more efficient. So with code, if you are repeating yourself like I am here, forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, you shouldn't. So I'm going to get rid of all of these. And instead of doing it like that, I will inside of here, droop and droop, have a four and have this guy. And now I'll draw all four sides. And then I'm going to jump forward 60 and I'll draw three of these shapes, right? So right away I tell the computer, hey, I need to do this three times. Okay, what do you want to do? So everything in this pink mouth thing will happen three times. What do I do? Okay, we'll repeat four times, draw four sides. So it moves forward 30. Then I turn right, hit the bottom, back to the top. Forward, right, hit the bottom, back to the top because I still have two more sides, right? I've only done two out of four. Move forward, turn, bottom, one more. Once I'm done, now that I've drawn four sides, I drop below and I jump forward 60 pixels. So that should do the same thing, and it does. But now they want us to next spin around to draw the line of using the jump to 200 and 200 back. Okay, so that must be 200 over and 200 back must be dead center. So jump to here. And so I want to go back to the dead center. It's asking me jump to 200, I guess X that would be, and 200, and then what? Spin around and draw that line a different direction. What an amazing snowflake you can make. Oh, okay, so I'll turn, mm, um, how many, let's do 45, and then, oh, I kind of like that though. Well, we could also do four. Decisions, decisions. Let's do 45. Now, I want to use another repeat, right? How many sides of this do I want? If I'm doing 45, I'll try to do six here. And so to make all of this happen six times, now what happens is I'll draw three squares when I, it says, okay, I got to draw this six times. What I got to draw six times? Well, first draw three times what? Oh, well, let me look. Four sides. Okay. I draw all four sides in turn. I jump forward. Zoop. Now I draw the other square. Now I draw the third square. I've done this three times. I drop below. I jump back to the center and the center is 200, 200. I turn right 45 degrees. I hit the bottom and I repeat that process. And now I should draw another line of squares. Oh, and I don't think I did enough. So I want more. Eight times 45 is 360. Eight makes sense. Perfect. 45 times eight. Perfect. That would be 360. And I get this neat snowflake onward. Now what? Try layering two different shapes of snow on top of one another with a little turn between. Two different shapes. Okay, so basically I can do this, but maybe I'll draw a triangle next time. So I'll leave this here, but first let me worry about getting another shape. I'm going to move forward 30. That will be fine, but and then I'm going to turn right. Let's do 120. 
And that way, I'm going to try to make a triangle. Let's do that three times. So I'll use a repeat to draw the three sides of a triangle. Boom. Cool. All right. Well, now same process. What do I want to do? I'm going to jump forward. I made this 30, so I'll still jump forward 60. I could jump forward a bit more, a bit less, but I like that number. And then I want to make two or three more. I'll stick with my theme of three here. And now I'll make a this for three in here, this repeat, this pink mouth thing tells it to draw aside three times. I then jump forward, hit this, go back to the top because this outer one means you have to draw three full triangles. Each triangle will have three sides. Okay, so that will be one row of triangles. And now let me go all the way around and I'm going to, I'll go ahead and actually do 90. Uh, no, <laughs> four times, but I'll do 90 degrees. So I'll have it jump back to 200, 200, which is center here. And then I'm going to have it turn right 90 degrees, we'll say. And let me put all of that in here. Oops, what did we? Oh, 200, 200. Cool. So let me go ahead and now add in my old shapes. You know what? Actually, I'm going to do 36 degrees and do that 10 times. So there will be 10 lines of triangles. And I knew to do 10 because the circle's 360, so I should go all the way around. Cool. Onward. Get creative with shapes and angles to see what kind of new snowflake you can draw. Oh, I really like mine though, but okay. I could also do, what if I did, you know, I'll just do another type of, ooh. I'm going to do a random color for each row, for example, for sure. And then random color there. And maybe I even have this eight times repeat. I could even say I really want a row that is here. I'm going to say I won't have a random color for the whole thing. I'm going to do this twice. And each time, all of the triangles will be one color. So this one will have all of the lines one color. This time, all of the triangles. So let's see what... Oh, and we want to set it off a little bit so it's not identical. So let me turn... It's 36 degrees. So I'm going to just say throwing it off by saying turn right 20. So it's a little off kilter. And now I'll go all the way around again. Oh, I guess color doesn't really work in snow, but regardless, you get it. I went all the way around again with that loop and the color didn't go so awesome. So I could get rid of that, but cool. Now I've doubled up on it. Onward. All right, now what? Draw a stair step pattern that turns. Now we need to do these stairs between 75, it looks like, and 105 degrees. So we get to pick the turn. Okay, great. So I'll go ahead between 75 degrees and I will choose then. I'm just going to go with one of theirs, 105, right? And then what do I need? I need to move forward 30 pixels. So where I start, I'll just start drawing. I'll say not jump, where's I'll move forward 30 pixels and then I'll turn and then I'm going to need to do what? It looks like move forward 30 pixels and turn keep in mind though this turn to do a stair if i just do right again by whatever i chose 105 watch what will happen i'm gonna start going in a circle so you see how i go around to make the shape so we have to vary these left to right each time in order to make actual steps going forward and then turn left varying and i hope you're yelling at me because i'm making these but look i'm repeating myself Forward, right, forward, left. Forward, right, forward, left. Never repeat yourself in code. We can use this. I think there are four steps there in their image. So I'll set mine to four. Boop. That is looking good to me. Onward. Turn around 180 degrees and draw the exact same stair pattern again. Okay, so we just got to turn 180. And then to draw it again, well, I don't want to write out all that code. I'll just put this whole thing in another loop. So do it a second time. Run all this twice. So I flip around and I ask it to go back through drawing all those stairs again. Cool. Yep, got that. Onward. Now what? 
spin that shape around five or six times in a circle. Five times is 72 degrees. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, I'll do five then. So I'll say, now that I got that whole thing, right, forward and backward, and, and I end up in the center, after I do that, I draw the whole thing, I'm going to spin 72 degrees, and then I'm going to draw this whole thing, these two-part staircase again. So I'll have to wrap this whole thing in a loop. It said five times if I use 72. So five times I'm going to draw all of this. And the reason this is working, guys, is a loop happens, right? Everything inside here gets repeated. So it first says, I got to do five of these. Okay, five of what? Oh, yeah, two of these. Two of what? Staircases. Each stair has four steps. So it then draws four steps. Once it's done with this pink mouth four thing, once it's drawn four steps, it runs the code beneath it. So then we'll turn right by 180. Once we turn right by 180, we hit the bottom of this outer pink thing. Oh, I have to do all that again. And we go back through and draw the other side of the staircase. Then we hit the bottom of this after that. We turn right again. We hit the bottom of this. We've already run it that second time. So we drop below. We turn 72 degrees and we start again on our staircases, giving us multiple. Onward. Try playing with what you've created. Draw whatever you'd like. Ooh. I'm going to mess around with this and I'll show you what I have at the end. <laughs> That's fun. So what I did is I moved mine over a bit so they are kind of overlapping and I turned and then I did that whole thing again. I also changed up the size of my diamonds. It's pretty neat. I hope you made something really cool. Onward. 